Hey everyone! Today I'm showing you how Lapshock runs 100-bit PLC at the same time. Why? Because this setup lets you try real-world use cases, like test how your IDE handles lots of traffic and sources, simulate spread attacks like mass scans or login brute force across devices, run more complex CADA setups, see how stable the system is, check what kind of resources you need to scale. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. Now let's connect a second PLC for a second pump. I'm using the same network for oil spring and template. Here in the settings Let's go to connection tab and here we see the PLC2 uh, with device properties. Let's add Modbus TCP, TCP port and the IP address with port 502 to connect to this PLC. Then I add the tags like pump start. pump work and the valves. Now both pumps are running on separate PLCs and we can start building more complex logic. Let's also update the layout for our oil spring SCADA. For pump switch, that is turn on and off the pump we are adding the tag for PLC2 instead of first. And to show that pump is running, we also update the tag for PLC2 instead of 1. And for actions, the same. SCADA layout is ready now. We've updated pump 2 to pull data from PLC2. You can see the flow, pressure and the status tags updating in real time. Everything's working as expected, both pumps and PLCs. Now let's stop the PLC2 to see how our pump will react to it. We log in to the PLC and stopping it. Here on SCADA, first we see that PLC2 connection is red and pump 2 is not working, it's also red. But pump 1 is working and connection with PLC1 is ok. Let's go into the settings, into the connection tab. And we can see also yellow and errors are bumping and showing us that something wrong with PLC2. So everything is ok. Let's start back the PLC. Let's now recheck the SCADA and pump. We can see that PLC connection is green now and the button for start and stop pump is working. Now we are scaling up. Let's add more 100 PLCs, one by one, using the same steps. Going to the connection tab and add PLC. We need to fill the name like PLC345. The type of connection, Modbus TCP, polling, connection options, and IP address for our PLC and the port number. I repeat this for every PLC until we have all 100 added. 
takes a bit of time, but this shows how a lap shock can handle large setups. All right, now let's add the last PLC. Same step as before. Name, type, polling, option, IP address, and port. That's all. Now all 100 PLCs are added and running. Our all spring setup is full scaled and ready for testing. But before we jump into that, I'll quickly explain how you can build this setup yourself in LabShock. We are logging into our host and edit the docker compose file. We are adding one by one, for example, plc6, plc11 with IP addresses based on the same network from 1 to 100. With this configuration, Docker will spin up the 100 PLCs inside our environment, which will be connected to all our services like pen test, engineering station and etc. And now let's check the stats of our docker. We can see that our containers are running and getting some CPU and memory. The memory is around 30 megabytes and the CPU is 0.2%. And let's check the overall consuming the our host. So we have idle about 90% and all the services are getting around 4 gigabytes of RAM. On this setup I'm using a host with 4 CPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And as example, what we can do with this setup, we can scan the network and see that all PLCs are up and running. When we run the Nmap scan, we see that IP addresses. And one more thing, we can scan the network with specific ports, for example, Modbus port. And we also detect a lot of services running in different IP addresses, which are our PLCs. And we can run also a host scan and check that on this PLC which ports are running. And we can see that 502 port is open. After that, we can go into the Modbus attacks, read coils from specific PLC, for example, 88. We are reading from zero address, first 10 addresses, and we can see that at address zero, the coil is true. And we can overwrite this coil and write one one more time into this address. Yeah, why not? We can also read registers. Let's take 
another POC, for example, 90 read from zero address, the 10 addresses, and rewrite zero address with some value. In our case, let's rewrite it with, let's say, 50. We are running, reading one more time, and we can see that, yeah, 50 in our zero address. So, now we have 100 PLC running inside LabShop. Each one simulates real devices, like pumps, valves, sensors, and they are all sending data. You can use this to, for example, test your ideas with high traffic from many sources, simulate spread attacks across devices, check system load and performance, build and test complex SCADA layouts. This setup helps you to move from small lab tests to something closer to real infrastructure. And you can do all of it from your own machine or server. Thanks for watching. If you want to try it yourself, check out the links below for setup guides and templates. Put like and subscribe, feels hard.